So almost ready to get underway and on the mound for Philadelphia in this one Christopher Sanchez safe to say he's pretty stingy Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. The 2-2 now. And that just misses. That's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up They try to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Battling here as he fouls it away. One out, base is empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one, punching out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. That's a ball. Pitch misses there, two and it's 2-1. One one. Two down, nobody on. He swings and fouls one off. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. Phillies coming up to hit. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And our pitcher in this game, Jamison Tyon. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. And a 1-1. Swings through that one for strike two. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Turner now. But you want. Swing and a foul straight back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Inside just missed. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from a bat to a bat. Side and that is ball four. That is good. Here's Bryce Harper. Harper. And he deals. Two balls. Pitch One out, break. but no action. Man at first, one away. And that one fouled off. The 
pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Around second is Turner. In there safely. Bryce Harper with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. So one out with two aboard, and now it's Alec Bohm. Next offering is in for a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And the pitch. Ball two. This one in the dirt. <laughs> Safe. He beats it. Harper up to second. Runner at third hold, so both runners are now in scoring position. And a 2-2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Here's a 1-1. Hit, one run is in. The throw home. And he's out. Hit down, and that ends the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Phillies one and the Cubs nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and here is Seiya Suzuki. And a pitch. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Seiya Suzuki with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush. And now the lefty. And ball another ball. The Cubbies trailing by a run here at the top of the second. That's Next offering three. is down low. Three and one. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Here's Nico Horner. Ball to strike. Wouldn't chase that time. First and second here, no outs. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Got him swinging. 
And that is a big first down. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. At the play, Pete Crow Armstrong. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 1-1. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And next for the Cubs, Patrick Wisdom. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That misses, and it's three and two. Christian Bethencourt on deck for the Cubs. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Christian Bethencourt will hit next. The 1-1. One, one. And fouled off. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And here it comes. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Crow Armstrong should have it. One down. Batting seven. The second baseman. And here is Sosa to the plate. One down, base is empty. Just missed. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate. Right here, he's working inside. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. <laughs> Got him. And there's two away. Well, they locked him up with the cutter on the outside right there, and I got to think he was looking middle in because he just couldn't pull the trigger. And, you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in, you've got to be ready to swing it. That time it cut to the outside part of the plate, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Weston Wilson. Two out spaces empty. That Ball. just misses, and two it's balls. two and two. two it's a good take. Three. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Down quickly, go the Phillies. Score remains tied, 1-1. One, one. Here in Philadelphia, top half of the third inning, Ian Happ up to hit. 
half a switch hitter, it can be challenging for guys at the big league level to maintain a good swing from both sides of the plate. Clearly, he's got more pop from them. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Ian Happ with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Dansby Swanson stands in. The lefty ready and a 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. You know, these Cubs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Man, it's second. Just a slow ground ball this time. On to first, oh. and Swanson is set down. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. One out, the runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fouls it off, still one and two. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. On the ground, right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Seiya Suzuki. As a batter, he's known for performing better in these night games. He might start two for two in this one. The 1-1. One -one. On the corner at the knees for a strike. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Set for the bottom of the third. Now, Johan Rojas. Fastball for a strike. And the one two misses to even the count. down it away. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. And the righty deals. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Corner over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. Kyle Schwarber goes deep. His first homer of the year, and they jump out front. It's 2-1.
when you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. One out, base is empty. Trey Turner now. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Trey Turner with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man at first. Here's Harper now. Left-hand hitter waits. That clips the corner. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Tyon with the move to first, and he's back in there. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. At the belt and fires. Turner runs. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That one back. And that ball is out of here. Bryce Harper with a star scraper. Second home run of the inning for him. And they add a couple more. It's 4-1. Fans expect Bryce Harper to do something special every time he comes to the dish. And he didn't disappoint there. Breaking ball up and in, you have to be careful to not jam yourself. The velocity's not going to do it, but your swing path can if you come off of the baseball. Pulled his hands tight to the body. Really good job of explosion through the zone and drove it out of here. Boom, getting ready to hit. That went back up the middle and it gets through. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Alec Boom with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One down. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Right-hander kicks deals. That's ball two. Still only one out here in the inning. Right through there for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And now two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Got it by him for the K. Now batting, catcher. And now it is JT Real Muto. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Oh, 
And they'll do it again. Already three runs across in the frame here in the last half of the third. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. On to Horner. Play made, that ends the inning. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back onto the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Michael Bush. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a 1-2 again. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. The batter number two. And up next for Chicago, Nico, Nico Horner. Horner. Love coming to Citizens Bank Park. Best ice cream in all of the league at the press level. It's only been around since 2004, but plenty of awesome history here already. It's the only stadium with multiple postseason no-hitters. Remember Roy Halladay did it back in 2010? And the Houston Astros threw a combined no-no in game four of the 2022 World Series. Wilson calls it in, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And another ball. That one's in there. And the count is two and two. To third, boom. To first, that ends the frame. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And they trail it 4 1. Back here in Philadelphia, ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's the second baseman, Edmundo Sosa. That one finds the zone. Going to count one and two. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Hey. Caught him looking for the K. So digging in, now, Weston Wilson. Weston Wilson. Pitch misses all three. Bases empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That was blasted to the moon. His first homer of the year and they add a run. It's 5-1. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. Here comes a pitch. That one way outside, two and two. Lifted in the air, right field. Suzuki on the move. And there are two down. 
Now batting. The designated hitter. Kyle. So the Philly batting order turns Schwarber. over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. And now one and two. Backdoored him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Oh. And there's a ball. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Just Help. missed. Trey Turner waiting for a turn at the plate. Two outs. The right hander gives up the two out walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Trey Turner with a chance now. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands and he's gaining pitch recognition that keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 5-1. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Now the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Meanwhile, One ball. activity in the Two bullpen. Strength. Ranger Suarez appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Estevez, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. The 2-1. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Good job to fight that one off. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And that's outside. And the count is filled up. Kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And he deals. Swing at a high fly ball left field. And there's two away. Now Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. And now here is Ian Hat. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Cubs are down in order. They're down 5-1.
New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Justin Steele. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Three, four, five due up for the home team. And now here is Harper. Here's Harper to the count two and one. Gloves it on the dive. Throws from his knees. On the money. Nice play. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. And that oh, misses off the outside edge. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. That nope. one misses. And now three and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The lefty fires. On the ground to third. Wisdom on the first. Home man for the fifth Number inning moving eight. along. Number two eight. quick outs. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. 2 1 now. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Down quickly go the Phillies. They're up 5-1. We're back, and they make a change to start the six. The new pitcher, Ranger Suarez. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, College World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Yeah. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's two and two. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. i got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Cody Bellinger with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man at second with one away. Seiya Suzuki now at the plate. Right side. And that one finds its way through. Fires it to the plate. And he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush.
Fouls one off. Two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And here it comes. That misses. Full count now. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Jose Ruiz, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Banks warming up as well. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. And a 3 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that one in the air center field. Rojas drifts towards it. Rojas makes the catch. The batter number two. Second base. Nico Horner. Here's the second baseman. Nico Horner. The one one is fouled off. The pitch. That Ball one two. just misses. Two two the count. And a pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. That one the other way. And base hit. Suzuki around second, headed for third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Nico Horner with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So up now for Chicago, Pete Crow Armstrong. Step off, throw to first, and he's back standing. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Line drive, base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 5-3. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Nice line drive to the full side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Carlos Estevez on a pitch out of the pen here. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So... This is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Two gone with runners at the corners. And next for the Cubs, Patrick Wisdom. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Runners on first and third. Two away. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. Six, seven, eight, due in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Phillies five and the Cubs three. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, JT Real Muto.
And a 2 1 on the way. And one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss and he got him. One gone here. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Edmundo Sosa with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So, a man aboard. And now for the Phillies, Weston Wilson. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. One, two now. That's ball. down and in. And a pitch. Runner takes off. In the air to left center. Hat moving under it. Pulls that one down. Now that center fielder, Johan Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Johan Rojas. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Snap throw to first. No, Sosa back in standing. Next oh, offering no. is down low. And a good eye there. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains 5-3. Top of inning number seven. Now the Cubs catcher, Christian Bethencourt. Out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Christian Bethencourt with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So the lineup flips over. Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit. On the ground, left side, six, four, 
three. And they turn the double play. Now it's going to be Dansby Swanson. Right-handed reliever. Pulls that one foul. The Phils trying to protect a two-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. Got it by him for the K. The batter number seven. Here's Trey Turner. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh. Next offering is downstairs. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Rip towards third. In time to Bush. Two up, two down. The first baseman, number three. Right. Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. Two down, nobody on. Clobber to right field, way back. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they boost their lead. It's 6 3. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Look at that. Pure reaction. Fastball up and in. Not an easy pitch to get to, but because it was just a reflex, he didn't have time to get long with his swing. Two outs, nobody on. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Two outs. Just off the outside edge. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Inning over. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's now 6-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome now, back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Matt Strom. He's been so good against lefties. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. The Cubs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Here's a 1-1. And another ball. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. That one inside. Three balls and a strike. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Hey. Swing and a miss. Hey. 
swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. You we'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And here is Seiya Suzuki. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. The Cubbies trailing by three, and we're in the top of the eighth. Fights it off, you'll see another. This one in the air, under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Michael Bush, the next cup to hit. That's, that's off the, the mark, and that's ball two. Short could be two. Turner goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Michael Bush with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So up next, Nico Horner. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Orion Kirkery gets the ball now. This is his first appearance of the season. Craig Council going with a pinch hitter here. Mike Tockman. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That's out number three. Cubs strand a couple and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. So remaining in the game defensively, Mike Tockman. He'll be out of center now after pinch hitting. And now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. The right fielder, The two-one. And there's a foul ball. 